Um, basically, you know, what would be awkward already? A GNOME vs. Cosmic Files video, and a few days back, Cosmic Devs added some basic search capability to their file manager, which means Cosmic Files is now almost ready for everyday use, so we can do the comparison, maybe? Or, note? I don't know. Actually, let me show you what Cosmic Files can do so far and leave the battle for some other time. Are you okay with that? All right, first things first, we have the views. Um, basically only two, grid and list. We can resize. We have multiple selections. A context menu with typical operations. We can drag and drop, you know, just the regular stuff. Okay, um, what's next? Tabs maybe? So, we can open tabs with various ways, but once we open them, that's it, boss. We can't move them, like reorder them or deattach them, which is an obvious limitation in LibCosmic affecting all Cosmic apps for now. Another thing here is that the location bar goes under the notebook, which makes more sense semantically, although I think I would still prefer the tabs on header bar, perhaps? But that space is now reserved for the search input, which is an equally proper place to put it, since search is a such important component, huh? Oh, well, not exactly this specific search, because this specific search can't search live. It hasn't any kind of filtering, plus it always searches in home. But eventually, rest things will come, and I fancy having a search bar on the very top of the window. Um, other things we can do. Okay, you see that? I tried to open the context menu of the view, but instead it opened the folder menu that was ghost selected. Which reminds me to tell you, the UI is actually super unpolished, and perhaps polishing things needs more work than actual features. So keep on mind, you can definitely use it, but things won't be always super smooth. Anyway, new file, new folder, both with super large pop-ups, which they don't behave exactly like modals, but I'll explain that some other time. We can open location to terminal, and there is an open with to select default apps, but we can't select the terminal emulator. Um, because Cosmic Term is so awesome, maybe. Meanwhile, there is a file previewer, but the thing is that it hides the content view. So when we navigate with keyboard, we don't see exactly what's going on, and I'm sorry to tell you, but dear designer, whoever you are, you just failed it. A nice thing though, and I can't remember any other file manager I've seen it, is a list of recent operations. Not sure if it's there for debugging reasons, but it certainly looks nerd and rusty. Um. We have a trash. We can empty it or restore the items. And all the dialogues remain unnecessary extra big. I think it's a trend, isn't it? Recently, Cosmic Files added GVFS support so we can also mount drives. And now we are in the sidebar. I also remembered a stupid thing, like, okay, we can pin items there, even actual files. That's the level of unpolished I told you before. Actually, there isn't much we can do here yet, like, renaming the favorites, or even reorder them. Mmm, there isn't much we can do on the app settings either. We can select the theme. Display the dot files. Set the default view, which means it doesn't remember the last opened. We can select the default sizes. That also doesn't remember our last preference if we change it while using it. Very debatable behavior. Personally, I'm not a fan. But I'm a fan of the sidebar design that can be hidden on demand. And that is a, like a design language stuff. So we see it in every cosmic app. Not that we have many of them, but you know what I'm trying to say. And by the way, that's how the resizing works. So the app can work on phones or tiled spaces, but not really in GNOME. Haven't investigated why, but Cosmic Apps works much smoother with Cosmic Compositor, rather on Mutter. There you go if you ain't believe me. That's Cosmic Files running on GNOME 46? Oh, and it even crashes often enough. And so, that was everything for now. Next time I might try a GNOME versus Cosmic Files, at least from a design point of view, but I really hope for Cosmic to find more contributors till then, and make the battle a little bit more challenging.